Okay, so I think I will use this one first. And I think I will use this butterfly wing. This one has the details in it. I'm gonna see if I can punch them. Doesn't look like it will. Let me punch them out. Um, but let me see how much of it I can do. No, it's not gonna. Okay, well in that case, because there's a piece missing right there, <coughs> I'm going to use this one instead. This one is embossed. Okay, so I'm thinking that this butterfly is the right size for this. Yeah, I think it will work out okay. Maybe I'll end up cutting it in half so that I can place them a little bit better but um yeah so we'll we'll see about that so i guess i need these pieces and i'll put this aside for now maybe i'll put it over here so that it's not in the way of anything and now i'm going to have a piece of white paper that'll cause trouble but anyway uh, hopefully you can see well enough because of this. Okay. Now, here's the thing. There are little holes there, but I think that they are too small. Like, I was going to... was going to use these little brads but I think yeah they're they're too big for that so I'll save that idea for the, the big doll when I when I make my pattern and work on that bigger one uh, so f for her I think what I'm gonna do is use some thread of some kind to piece her together. <clears throat> yeah, this, please excuse me for the hum hums. I'm going to try to keep it at a minimum, but I will probably end up forgetting that. I think this one works better. Maybe it's just because it's on a black thing that it looks... But anyway, I'm going to use that one. And... Hopefully that needle isn't too big. Hopefully it won't cause too much... <coughs> Put that out the, out the way over there. Okay, hopefully that won't cause too much of a... widening of the holes because I, I don't it's it's good strong cardstock but I don't want it to like wear out and cause trouble I do have to widen it in order for the needle to go through but yeah I think it's going to work out okay good so um, I probably should do the shading and such such first actually I'm going to put that there so that hopefully I don't end up losing the needle okay put that away don't need it anymore so what am I going to use I think I'm going to use my Ink Tense Bark 2000 pencil it's water soluble and I think I'm just going to go around some of the edges, not all of them, just some. 
as a bit of a shadow-like thing. Uh, she's meant to be... What's the word? Um, like she is, she's not going to be extremely detailed, at least not this first one. She's not going to have like features on her face and stuff. The main reason for that is that she's too small to... I mean, I could do it, but it would be so hard because she's so small. <clears throat> but I do like her and I do want to start using my stuff. Like, I've got these cutting dies and I've got these things and I I was so excited to get them but then I never used them well I mean I, I cut some pieces out but I never did anything with the pieces that I cut out and stuff um, so yeah I want that to change I want to I, I want to stop feeling like I'm wasting money and buying things I'm not going to use. So that means I need to use it. <laughs> okay, and yeah, I think I'm going to do that around the butterfly too. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm not sure what that word I'm looking for is. Maybe she's like a, one of them shy dolls or something. I don't know. Anyway. Point is just to have a little bit of fun with this. Okay, and then I'm going to activate what I do. Oh, whoops. forgot. This side of the wing. So yeah, I'm just going to activate that now. And blend it a little bit into it. Completely devoid of something. Don't want her to look dirty. I kind of messed up her foot there, but oh well. It's not too bad. There's no hole for the head, so I guess you're supposed to attach the head to the neck and then the neck is the part that moves, which I guess makes sense. Uh, so I guess I'll do that. I think I will use, if I can get anything out of this, use a sum of this PPA if there's anything left in there probably isn't and I probably should be using a piece of wax paper or something for this but too lazy 
get one. I think that was actually probably exactly enough. I suppose I could make a, a hole if I needed one, but that'll do. And now I will assemble the body parts and decide what to do with the wings after. So, this is going to be very simple and I hope she won't fall apart too quickly. I can thread the needle. Oh, wow! That was easier than I was anticipating. Okay, I'm going to let the head I'm going to let the head dry a little bit before I'll put that on last. So, okay, so it's kind of like beating the body parts together. And I guess I need a I need to make a a knot. And I want the knot to be on the back. So, So, I'm going to actually do it this way. <laughs> if I can, it's worse than threading the needle was. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do it like that. And then find the part here. And... Then maybe figure out what I'm doing from there. Um, maybe I'll just loop around again and catch that again. And okay, and before it goes all the way through. I'll loop like that so that hopefully it'll make like a knot. Yeah, I think that'll work okay. And decide how tight I want it. And then do a bunch of not like things at the back. It's probably not going to move too much, but good enough, I think. Good enough. Okay, I'm not sure how much of this to do. So anyway, I'm going to attach all the pieces just like I just did and I'll be back okay and now enter the lighting issues yeah I, it's pretty obvious that I haven't a clue what I'm doing when it comes to anything <laughs> with a needle and thread but I managed to put her together she's um <laughs> it's it's not perfect, but I think it'll work out okay. Um, yeah, I think she's okay. And I suppose I could have just glued her together, but I want, I like the idea that she can move, like she can, she can dance or whatever. So anyway, okay, so I wasn't quite sure, like if if the different parts were supposed to go like on top or under or whatever, but I just I just did what I felt like I 
wanted to at the time. Now, I want to decide about her wings. <laughs> it's actually pretty close to perfect, just like that. But, I think I will cut them apart so that I have more um, control. More leeway. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Not sure if I'm happy with the color of the wings. So I might, I might color them. Actually, I think I'm going to. I'm going to use my red. I guess it's called cherry. 0510 <clears throat> my ink tents um, and I'm just gonna quickly run that across and then activate it and leave it aside to dry a bit while I finish working on her. Yeah, I think I'm happier with that. Gives it more interest. Not just a one color thing. Okay, there we go. I like that better. Good. Now, I am going to decide if I want color of petal I want. So, I had won these in a giveaway. And I have some white ones and some pink and red ones. So, let's see. Um, This one has a little bit of orangey bit to it. Okay, and I also have this that I forgot I had, but I think it's too big for, for this doll. Maybe for the big one, we'll see. I do like this one. Maybe she only needs one petal. Uh, based on the wings. Let's see. I think the white it doesn't show up enough, so I'm going to say no to the white and decide on this. It's very fiddly. Hmm. Okay. So this kind of works with the wings, but I, I'm still liking this one better. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Put these aside for now. 
and <clears throat> I'm gonna plug in my twin gun and decide on. So I think I'm going to attach it there. So she does need two because I want the back to have one as well. Something like that. Okay. <coughs> this is extremely fiddly. Can you see Soma? I don't think you can. And if I move that around, maybe I'll just do this. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see here. Now, I wonder if maybe I want this for her top part and then the other pieces on top. I think I will do this because it seems to work good up here. Now if I can do this without gluing the stuff I don't want to glue together, kind of gives her a, a puff there too. Hey, maybe I can find something to stuff in there. Like this piece of, this piece of uh, paper towel and then, then she'll have She'll be feminine. <laughs> okay, I think this is ready. And I think we'll do this. Let's just do it. Okay. Put some glue right here. Deal with the strings later. Pull that to the back. Try not to burn yourself too much. And I think that's good for that and decide if I want this after all. You know what? I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to attach another one of these right here so that she's not mooning people. tucked in a little bit but I think I can fix that with a piece of ribbon or something okay I think I like that I think I gave her a little bit too <laughs> too much of up there but I think when I add something here it'll help with that yeah I think uh, happy with that. 
now. See where I want the wings. Probably easier to attach the ribbon right now. Figured maybe you wanted to see what I was toying with the ideas of, but okay. I've, it is kind of nice, but I've decided no. Hmm. I do kind of like that. Maybe I will use some of that. Oh, I have a small piece right there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, maybe this. No. Uh, maybe. But I think maybe I'll I think I'm gonna use a small piece of this rake rack just to to tie it and then decide if I want a piece of that there or not. Just to make it, just to give her a, a more curvy waist, is my thinking. And I'm wondering if maybe I should use another piece of <laughs> paper towel to give her a little bit more of a, a butt. <laughs> well, it might be a little bit silly, but... Okay, I probably could have done that in a way that would waste less of this, but... That'll do. Ever since I watched that movie, uh, Babe, with the adorable pig in it, I, every time I say that'll do, I want to follow it up with... That'll do, pig. I want to say that, that'll do, pig. Because that, that is said often in the movie. I think I am going to take her a little butt. Not a, not a big one. Not big like mine, anyway. Just so that things will... Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'm gonna do it. Just so that things will look a little bit, uh, I don't know, more realistic or something. I don't know exactly what I'm after. Okay, and just to minimize the risk of seeing her bottom too much. Glue that in place. There. I think I like that. Yay! Yeah, I like her her shape better now. Now, decide on this. Too much? Probably. I do kind of like it, but I think I don't like it enough. Because this is simple and, and works. Maybe she needs just a hint of a belly, too. If I can. Did I glue that? Right, I glued that so I can't. She got a flat belly, unlike my belly. That's okay. She's allowed. Okay, um... I think... Okay, I've decided no on that for this one. Now she needs her wings. 
and I think like I say it's Finley and she keeps crossing her legs I think she needs to Use the toilet. I think she needs to pee. I think I'm just gonna kind of go for it and hope for the best. It should be able to peel off. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the risk and put them in. Put them on. As soon as the glue cooperates. Hopefully I won't regret doing it this way. Okay, the glue's coming out on its own. So I think it's ready. Hopefully I'm putting them on. The right sides because I confuse myself pretty easily. I wouldn't put it past myself to put it opposite. Okay. Guess I had it waited long enough after all for the glue. Okay, let's see how that worked. I think I did okay. Now, she needs hair, which I think I'm going to do. I have a few ideas, but for hers, I think I'm going to do some of these. Pretty good. Just like that. I like it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Let's do that before the the glue's not working again. Grr. <laughs> on each other, not on my finger. <laughs> okay. Putting a like a, a larger glob so that it can have a little bit of dimension. Well, yeah, if I don't smush it. I smushed it too much, but <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay, so here's my little fairy so far. I think she's almost done. I just want something to cover the little hole there uh, in that flower. I want to like a little bead or something. What do I have? Maybe these are too big. Maybe. Mm. 
tiny piece of sequins, but that's got a hole in it too, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Kind of works though, but eh, I don't know. Too big. A little butterfly, maybe? Get over here, you. Get over here. Um. Nah. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I think I've decided to do this little pearl, but I'm going to try something first. Nope, too much. Okay, so, and this I'm going to attach with glossy accents, just because I think it'll probably hold better. And you won't see the, you won't see the, um, big glob of glue as much once it's dry. Okay, I think she's done. I think I'm going to, um, that was fun. I think I might do another one. I... I think I'll do a different scenario though. And so, put her aside so that her thing will dry. I'll take some photos when she's dry.